Hello, it's me, Yeji, Little Red, back with another foraging video. Today it's going to be a really short one. I'm just going to show you some of these seedlings that I've picked from Jasmine Dean. So these are the seedlings of a little plant called Himalayan Balsam, um, which you may have heard of before. It's not a native plant and it's also an invasive plant. So any kind of foraging you can do, taking your little bit, um, will do a little bit good for the environment. I'm not really sure why we want to eradicate it. I've read a little, a few little things, but if you're interested in that side of it, I'm not going to be touching that on the video today. So have a little look online. If you just um, Google search the name or YouTube search the name Himalayan Balsam, um, I'm sure it'll explain on there why people are trying to get rid of it and the problems that it can cause. So obviously, there's like nothing like the mature, fully flowered plant. These are the first seed lens the first shoot ends the first set of leaves that come up from the ground and um, they look nothing like the leaves of the plant when it's mature and fully grown at all so this is not a beginner friendly foraging video today I'm afraid this is for the slightly more experienced people who are a bit more confident in what they're getting so it does tend to grow um, in quite damp soil on riverbanks this is where I got mine from down the riverbank um, the markings on it, a few of them you can see, I'm going to try and hold this up so you can get the colour. There is a small amount of red coming from the centre, if you can see, sorry, because I'm um, opposite, I'm sending it the wrong way. There's grooves down the leaves, obviously these are growing opposite to each other, fairly flat, completely opposite to each other, groove down the middle and the edges of the leaves, oh I'm going to drop that, I'll get the large I want to show you actually. The edges of the leaves here, they're not completely round at the top, you can see there's a very, very small indentation in the centre there. So your leaves aren't completely round, there's probably a technical term for that, but I'm just going to use the word indent today because I haven't got my dictionary with us. So yeah, there's often a little bit of that red colour in, in the centre of those leaves as well and on the stem of some of these shoots oh, is that again we have like quite a red colour so when the plant is fully grown at the end of the season the stem of the whole plant turns a very very vivid red colour um, there are many other uses for the mature plant too in terms of edi like its edibility etc um, the only use that I have for these is they make a brilliant micro salad some people um, suffer a bit of a burning sensation from the leaves oh that looks so cool sorry some people suffer a bit of a burning sensation from the leaves um so just proceed with caution i've seen a few notes um saying that they can be cooked like spinach but because i've got some really really just young tender leaves there i'm just gonna whack them in a salad with some wood sorrel i think and um, and see how that tastes um yeah it's meant to have its own unique taste obviously that one's slightly larger so if i had a, a bunch of those i could probably wilt them down um and have them as a side dish but yeah that's it um i can't really tell you too much about the plant while i've only got the seedlings there so if you want to know a bit more about himalayan balsam just do a quick search you'll find out some more some more things about that but again guys if you're not a confident forager there's a lot of things that could be confused for this um so don't go out and about foraging unless you know exactly what you're looking for i just wanted to share this one with you today um as it's one that i'm gonna use later on so i hope it was still interesting and informative even if you're not going to apply it to your real life so until next time i hope you enjoyed thank you happy foraging bye bye